Hi everyone, it's Darla. It's Scrap Happens here with Tuesday's Tip. Today I want to show you a fun little treat box um, and different ways, different sizes that you can make. Um, I started, I did a few, maybe about a month ago, I made some Halloween ween treat boxes. I used the Them Bones designer paper and um, made this cute little treat holder. I made a couple others, but I've given them away already. But I really, I have a lot of requests on how to do it. So today I made um, this Christmas box and I did a couple other sizes. A little bit smaller and a little bit smaller. And you can make all three of these just with one piece of designer paper. <coughs> Excuse me, so let's get started and I'll show you how it's done. First, I used the Shining Christmas designer paper. And I just wanted to go through it and show you. Same piece. The shiny, I love the shine. It makes it extra fun for these um, gift treat holders. See the shine. Oh, those light bulbs are cute. And the holly. Now these can be found, this is cute, super cute. These are found on the online exclusives. They're not in a catalog, um, but you can find them by going to my store on my blog at scraphappensherewithdarla.com or you can just go to shop.scraphappensherewithdarla.com. Love those X's, man, that'd be cute even for Valentine's Day. And then here's the piece that we used. So it has the pretty ornaments. So again, there, this paper is in the online exclusive, not in any catalog, just online. But uh, you can order it through me or you can order it straight on online through my store. So first thing I want to show you, uh, a long time ago, I put this black mark on my score scoring tool and I just used a permanent marker. I went down the six inch mark and I'll show you why I did that in just a minute. But the first thing I need to do, and I forgot to cut the paper, so I'm gonna do it, let's see, I'm gonna set this here. So I'm gonna do it really quick. Sorry about that. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting a three inch by six inch of designer paper, a four inch by eight inch, and the last one is a five inch by ten inch. Okay, and I've got those cut. Three inch by six inch, four inch by eight inch, and five inch by 10 inch. And what I'm gonna do, I'll do the big one. So I hope it's a little easier to say, but this is to see, but this is how you'll do it on all of them. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna score it on the five inch mark. So you're just gonna score them in half. So the three by six, you're gonna score at three, the four by eight, you're gonna score at eight, and the five by 10, you're gonna score at five. And then you're gonna take it over here and you're gonna just, you can either put a dot with your, and maybe that's easier to see for the video. I just use my scoring tool and put a dot, a little mark on, can you, I think you can see that, right there on the two and a half at half, but I'm also gonna do it with my marker. And I'm going to turn it over and do it on this end as well. Okay, and then this is why you need this um, score line on, on the scoreboard. It makes your life so much easier. So you line up that black dot with the score line here. And if you need to put a black dot there, by all means, put a back black dot. And then you're gonna take your scoring tool and I use the finer tip 
because this shiny paper, I worry that it might crack. So I'm just extra, a little extra careful. And then you're gonna do the same thing here. So you have the score line and then I'm a little off up there. So I'm gonna move that, but make sure my score line stays on this black line. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. You have to pay attention. It's easy to like put one in the right spot and then the other one moves and it's not in the right spot. So make sure you have them lined up. And I'm gonna do it this direction just cause it's easier for me. See, they're both lined up. And there you have it. And you're ready to fold. So you're gonna fold these in. This is such an easy treat holder to make. I hope you'll I hope you'll make a bunch of them for any holiday. So then you're gonna take your tear and tape and you're just gonna put it on both sides. of the designer paper, as far down as you can go. Tear that off. My fingers are not wor working today. And then you're just gonna fold this up and, and just fold it right over. Like that. And I put the tape on both on the same side because I don't want the seams to show from the front. And so in the front, you can't see the seams. Like you, you barely can see them, but you can see them and it kind of drives me crazy. So I guess I'm a little neurotic, but anyway, um, that's how you make the box. And then just with, this is the four by eight and this is the three by three. You can do other sizes as well. Just always make sure your length is twice as long as your width. So imagine that like the highest you could go is six by 12, but there's also some fun other triangular shapes that I'm gonna show you in the future on, on a future Tuesday's tip. But this is a super fun, super easy one. And then I just used um, some of the extra paper that I had from cutting the three boxes and I, cut a strip with my stylish shape dies. Oh, I got some black ink on there. Oh, well, <laughs> um, this is a sample. Anyway, it doesn't matter. And so I just cut a strip from a circle to put on, on my sentiment. I used the um, iridescent rhinestones. I used the red ribbon from the red and burlap ribbon combo pack. And then of course, linen thread. I used um, real red ink there. And, oh, what's the name of the stamp set that I used? It's the one with the carousel. Oh, here it is. I really like the font and this Merry Christmas sentiment. Here it is, Merry Christmas. I'm not a season's greeting gal. I'm a, I'm a Merry Christmas person. So um, anyway, that's it. It's super fun, super easy. They come together quickly and you can make them for any occasion. Just by choosing different designer paper. You can also make them with cardstock. So have fun with it. I'll put the measurements on my blog, Scrap Happens Here with Darla.com. And if you need this paper, you know where to find find it. On the, it's on the online exclusives. Um, and you can shop with me. I would love to be your demonstrator. That's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a terrific rest of your day and I will see you next week with another Tuesday's tip. Bye.